Joining me tonight is Congressman Gerald Nadler of New York. Congressman, good to have you with us. Good to be here. Uh, we're going to find out how fast the wheels of government can turn here. Uh, under the umbrella that you haven't had any Republican step forward and say anything like what the president said today, what are your expectations something's really going to get done? Well, I don't know. That remains to be seen. I mean, right now, uh, the Republicans are saying nothing. They're ducking. Uh, some of them are opposing any reasonable gun control restrictions. Uh, the president's going to push it very hard. Uh, there's, uh, the, the Democratic uh, leader set up a task force today under Congressman Thompson of uh, California. Uh, there's going to be a lot of constituent pressure on everybody, including Republicans. And they're going to have to either step up to the plate or say no. And that's going to be very difficult for a lot of them. Your colleague, Congresswoman Carolyn McCarthy, urged support from Republicans today. Here it is. And I'm asking my Republican friends to work with us. It shouldn't be a Democrat or a Republican issue. It's all of us as Americans who are mourning the death in Newtown. And we don't want to see any more of these shootings again. So they always hide behind the Second Amendment. They're, they're fabulous at doing that. But the Second Amendment does not give you the right to bear any kind of arm. And technology has changed. Uh, and of course, the design has changed. The proficiency of the manufacturing has changed. Why will no Republican step forward and admit that? Well, I, because of the fear of the NRA leadership, which is fanatic, which lies to gun owners and says that any attempt to regulate guns in any way is, is, is a prelude to taking all your guns away. Uh, luckily, the, uh, the, the power of the NRA was shown to be a uh, paper tiger in the last election. I think uh, that knowledge is going to have to be broadcast and assimilated that you can take on the NRA and uh, live to tell about it. Um, you know, no right is absolute. We have the First Amendment right to freedom of speech, but you can't get away with yelling uh, fire in a crowded theater. So the Second Amendment, uh, has, the Supreme Court has ruled the Second Amendment confers a personal right to carry arms, but it doesn't confer a personal right to carry machine guns or, 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 or grenade launchers or sure. semi-automatic weapons or, or, or uh, large magazine clips. There is no hunter that needs more than two, two three, three, uh, three bullets and a rifle to hunt. Anything beyond that uh, is, is, is not only fair subject for regulation, yeah. but absolutely ought to be banned. But uh, there's very few hunters out there that want to be told what kind of firearm they can use. And this is the urban and rural divide that the president talked about a little bit today. And Congressman, I come from the middle of the country over the last 30 years before I came to work here in New York. And it's two different worlds. You go to the middle of the country and they say, don't you come close to me with any firearm regulation and don't tell me how to use my firearm. I don't want any regulation well, we whatsoever. Don't, we don't now, here in we New York, here in New York City, the, the laws are about as strict as they are anywhere in the country. So how do we strike this balance? You strike a balance by saying, look, um, anyone has a right to have, a, to, to, to have firearms that are reasonably uh, uh, related to, to self-defense, if he has a license for that, and for hunting and for sports. But no one has the right to have military-style firearms that are designed to kill people in large numbers as rapidly as possible. Uh, common sense says that, and I think even people, not only, even people in rural areas will recognize that, that too. Everybody wants their kids to be safe, and the fact sure. is that we're having more and more of these, uh, of these uh, 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 outrages. You know, as I've said before, we had uh, 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 a maniac attack a, uh, a, uh, an elementary school in China last Friday, the same day as yeah. Newtown. He used a knife no and nobody died. I, that, that right. is, uh, that's a, a talking point that's out there quite a bit. The bottom line is the American people are ready for change. Will the Congress walk in lockstep with the American people on this? That's, that's the big question. Congressman and, and Gerald Nadler, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much.